oh. cameras are rolling. Here we go. I'm Coyote Peterson, and I'm about to enter the bite zone with the German Shepherd, the Doberman Pinscher, and the Belgian Malinois. Oh. All right, Jay, release the beast. <sighs> it never gets any easier, guys. Get him, get him, get him! It's a beautiful sunny morning here in West Virginia and welcome to Glade Springs. Today's event promises to be painfully entertaining as self-proclaimed beast of bites, Kyle Peterson, is going to be strategically taken down and of course bitten by three truly terrifying yet professionally trained canines. <gasps> Peterson will be wearing a Kevlar bite suit, and while it will protect him from lacerations and punctures, it does not have padding, and he will feel every bit of pressure in these bites. The playing field measures 60 feet, so once the canines are released off the leash, Peterson will only have seconds to prepare for impact, and running is not an option. Each dog will be ranked on a scale of one through five across three categories. Intimidation, impact, and bite force. I gotta tell you, I've seen some dumb, ridiculous dog shows, but nothing tops the insanity that is the best in bites. Now, before we get eyes on the lineup of pooches, first a big thanks to our Marquee sponsor, McCore Canine of West Virginia. If you are in the market for a tactically trained law enforcement or home security companion, give them a call. Not only do their dogs have the bark, you're about to see that they definitely have the bite. Ooh, first up will be a German shepherd named Messi. Weighing in at around 70 pounds and armed with an estimated bite force of over 220 pounds, it's fair to say that this is not going to be a pretty scene. Peterson's second hit, if he lasts that long, will come in the form of a Doberman pincher named Mushka. Tipping the scales at 95 pounds, his intimidation level should be off the chart and he proudly boasts being a fully trained home security dog. Now, if Peterson is still standing after the first two dogs, his final feet will be going up against a tactically trained Belgian Malinois named Kasia. Woo-hoo-hoo! 75 pounds of pure muscle backed up by a bone-crushing bite force, this dog is designed to enforce a fast surrender. My goodness, okay. Mr. Beast of Bites, no guts, no glory. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Best in Bites. Okay guys, I'm getting ready for the first dog. I've decided to go with the German Shepherd because, I mean, it's intimidating based on its coloration, but it hasn't been snapping, hasn't been snarling yet. Uh, I'd say it's medium size when it comes to its weight. And this is, again, remember, training for the dog. This is actually really fun for these dogs to be doing this. It's almost like playing a game of fetch. The only difference is that I'm the toy at the end of the run. So cameras are rolling. Here we go. I'm Coyote Peterson, and I'm about to enter the bite zone with the German Shepherd. Here we go. Hey boy, here I am. Here we go, here we go. Here I am, right here, right here, right here. Ow, 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 ow. Ah, 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 he's getting close to my hand. Surrender, surrender, surrender. Surrender! Ouch! Ouch! Good oh boy! Ouch! <sighs> 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 
Wow! Did you see the speed at which Missy covered the field? I gotta say, Peterson held up and danced well in the presence of that 220-pound bite force. I would have been crying for mercy before the dog even hit me. Okay, let's head back to the field and get an official tally. Holy bone-crushing bite force. I would say that on a scale of one to five, this being the first dog, that was probably a three. I want to say a three, maybe more. Oh, definitely more powerful than Maya, the Belgian Malinois that we worked with a few years ago. Oh, and I called surrender at one point because my hand started slipping out of the bite jacket and was becoming exposed. What I didn't want to happen was for the dog to take one chomp further and actually get teeth into my flesh. <sighs> Intimidation level, I would say probably a two. Not too much snapping to start off. Impact, probably about a two as well. But the bite, definitely without question, a three. <sighs> oh my gosh. Oh, my heart is racing. <sighs> okay, okay, we're good. I'm ready to go to the next dog. Oh. <sighs> Never gets any easier, guys. Never gets any easier. I'm Coyote Peterson, and I'm about to be bitten by the Doberman Pinscher. Here we go. All right, Jay, release the beast. Over here, buddy. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Right here. Oh, the dog's so big, he kicked in all the way up on top of me. Okay, I surrender, I surrender. I surrender. Ah! Ah! Only a true bonehead would sneak into a yard or a house with that pooch on the prowl. I mean, look at this replay. When it's up on its back legs, I think the dog is taller than Peterson himself. Coyote's still rolling around on the ground. Come on, Mr. Bites, get up. We need an official tail. Oh, man. Oh, I gotta catch my breath. Holy mackerel. Oh, my heart. My heart is going so fast right now, I hardly breathe. Oh, my gosh. When you see a dog of that size barreling straight towards you, when he gets up on his back legs, he's as tall as I am. I was looking his mouth right in my face. As I got my arm up, he got me low on the wrist, which immediately I was like, oh my gosh, he's gonna get my hand. He ended up working up towards my elbow because I turned my arm. I was able to actually stay up on my feet a little easier than I was the German Shepherd, believe it or not. I think that's because of the height of the dog itself. Now, my arm was deep back into those teeth too. The size of that dog's head is absolutely massive. And even through this bite suit, man, I could feel a lot of pressure. Once it really realized what it was biting down onto, those bites increased. I mean, they got more and more powerful as the dog amped itself up. And oh my gosh, by the end of it, when I had to call surrender, it was, it was painful. More painful than the German Shepherd. I would say on a scale of one to five, the bite force, ranks as a four. I would say intimidation factor is without question a four. When it comes to impact, there was intimidation to that and it didn't hit as hard as the German Shepherd did. So I'd say I'm gonna give it only a two on the impact. But man, a dog of that size is not something you ever want to be latched onto your arm. Oh, I need a breather before we go Malinois. Oh, oh my goodness, I am a true human chew toy. Woo! Okay, this is it. Last dog of the day. Without question, the intimidation factor is on the next level. When this dog is on the leash, it is snapping, snarling, spit and slobber. This is a fully trained tactical Belgian Malinois. This is, uh, this is it. This is gonna be the bad one. Oh man. <laughs> uh, okay, here we go. 
I'm Coyote Peterson, and I'm about to be bitten by the Belgian Malinois. All right, here we go. Come on, buddy. Come get me. God, get him, get him, get him, get him. I surrender, I surrender, I surrender. Clear dog, clear dog. Okay. There is no question about it. The Belgian Malinois bite is next level compared to the German Shepherd and to the Doberman Pinscher. Oh my gosh, that was insanely painful. I can't move my arm right now. Oh my gosh. I mean, the impact. The dog actually slammed into me, threw me backwards, then found me again and latched on. And I mean, we're talking bites up and down my arm. And when he finally got down to a narrow spot by my wrist, where he could get his entire mouth over and locked in place, I mean, just crushing power. I could feel the teeth grinding up against my bone. I can't even explain to you guys how painful that effect is. And remember, the bite suit is preventing the teeth from actually penetrating skin, but I am feeling all of that impact. Intimidation factor, five, impact, four, pressure of bite, five, no question about it. Oh my gosh, okay, I gotta get the bite suit off and take a look at my arm. Uh, give me a minute. <laughs> I gotta be honest, okay? That dog was like a laser beam off the leash. It had take down burning in his eyes. And I can only imagine what Peterson must have been thinking. I, honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if he soiled his bite suit. Seriously. Oh man, my arm is sore. The swelling is beginning to set in. Without question, I'm gonna have bruises. And to be honest, it's hard to squeeze my hand into a fist. Now, when you break it all down, the German Shepherd versus the Doberman Pinscher versus the Malinois, without question, the Malinois takes the title in the Best In Bites show. And I wanna give a big thanks to McCore Canine of West Virginia for allowing us to be a part of their training procedures. Remember, while these dogs may look fierce and ferocious, turning me into a human chew toy is all a part of their daily training. I'm Coyote Peterson, be brave, stay wild. We'll see you on the next adventure. <laughs> Time to get some ice for my arm. Well, folks, that brings us to the end of our show. It was a thrilling journey, and I think we can all walk away with a new appreciation for the talents possessed by these incredible canines. Signing off, I'm your host, Wolf Masterson, saying goodbye and good night. Hey, Coyote Pan, if you love bites and you love Coyote and you love Coyote taking bites from beastly things, make sure to check out his newest memoir, The Beast of Bites, and pick up your copy by clicking on the link in the video description below. Woo!